Where did you sleep last night? Is this the first time you've been homeless? How long have you been homeless? These are some of the questions volunteers set out to ask people experiencing homelessness in today's point in time count. Thank you for your participation. Okay, and for your participation, you get a $10 gift card. Jasmine Lee is one of the many people participating in the count. She's been homeless for about five years and says she feels forced to live in the encampment near the Escondido Freeway. We had nowhere to go. And then you go out to the street and then you, you, you put an encampment out there and the Escondido cops, they will not let you park your stuff anywhere, nowhere. So it's like, well, where do you go? So you got to, you literally have to come back like to a, a zone like this. She's made this area her home for about seven months. She says cleaning sweeps by Caltrans have made it more difficult to find housing. Lee says IDs and documents are often discarded during those sweeps. You're being pulled back five steps and then it's just like you want to get a car and you want to do all these things and it's just like you just you don't have your ID, you can't, it's, just, it's back to back to back constant. But the biggest setback is the lack of shelter beds in North County for people like Lee. Greg Angel is the CEO of Interfaith Community Services the only provider of low barrier shelters for all genders in North County. We're in a, a riverbed area here, and so the recent storms created a lot of damage around here, and so there's actually more trash and more debris than there has been in the past. Um, but unfortunately, people come here when they don't have any other place to go. He says he expects the numbers to be higher in North County this year. Last year we counted about 2,000 individuals experiencing homelessness just in North County. There are only 150 shelter beds entirely in North County. So the availability of shelter just doesn't match how many people are out here living in situations like this. He says this year's count is especially important because more funding for resources is needed. It shows the need for more investment from the federal government, from the state government, and from the local government. Interfaith is preparing to open a 36-bed family shelter in March. Oceanside's first homeless shelter is under construction and expected to open in June. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.